recommending, they're, they're applauding the perpetrator. Yes. And they're, and they're chastising the woman who's been so desperate to set herself ablaze. I know a lot about Islam, and I'm sorry, you're not going to quell me. This is the most, I have seen such evil, and it's not here in Canada, but it's happening every day, every day down there. Executions. We met a woman from Iran, my sister, uh, Laura here, and they were up at Young and Shepherd, and she was saying, Mullah, something, Mullah, Mullah, they were all chanting, these Iranians. And she told me, I said, do you know about Evan Jail? Because there's another lady, Annie, Annie Cyrus in California. She said, she said, yeah, I was in Evan Jail. She said, the girl that I was in, in a cellmate with, she, they, they like to flog the feet because there's a lot of nerve endings there. So she said, the woman I was with, they flogged her feet so badly, later she had to have a transplant from her forearm to her feet. She was helping her hobble along. A lot of the women come out of there. There's children in that jail. The women come out of there, they kill themselves because they've suffered gang rapes. They've suffered humiliation, torture, abuse. They were protesting there because 87 people had been killed for insulting the prophet. So you look at this fucking M103 bullshit law. And excuse my language, I only swear when I'm extremely fucking mad at my fucking government. And I can tell them to shove it up their fucking liberal asses because I am completely, completely offended. And unlike them, I'm not looking for a safe space. Right on. Okay? I'm not going to be quelled. Ever. My father fought. My, my uncle, he's German. I'm Scottish and German. This is why I'm here, because I know I hung with a lot of people that got, went through the war. And when I told my, my uncle, who's 80, uh, in his late 80s now, he said to me, he put his head down. He was very close with my father, because after the war, these men, they fought a good fight, but they knew they were fighting for their countries. This is something different. We're fighting. Like ISIS, this is something completely perverse and horrific. But he put his head down and he said, why did all those good men die? Well, I'm here to say, I'm standing and I'm carrying that torch yes, of liberty we are. We forward are. to the children of tomorrow. Yes. I will not be quelled. We will not be quelled. I will not be quelled. So will you please join with me? I'm going to wrap it up here and, and pass it up to somebody else. We will not be quelled. 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 You will, you know, they can come and they can cut my fucking tongue out. And I'm going to get a fucking board with a marker. And I will still be back speaking out against this government and their sick, perverse policies. You do not take away free speech. That good men, unlike this pig that's in this parliament. Parliament pigs is what they are. Goddamn purge this thing. Purge it. It's not serving us anymore. It's going so commie on us. And these commies that want to take away free speech. It's a sickness. It's an illness. It's a disease. And it's got to be stopped. It's a cancer. So, God bless Kevin. Kevin, I really hope that you're going to be here this afternoon. What a beautiful man. Kevin Johnson. He's with Adrian. Beautiful, beautiful gentleman. Suffered, suffered gent, right? Absolutely. And, Ke and Kevin with freedomreport.ca. I think he's one of the finest speakers, the finest public speakers. And brilliant the man is. He really is. You know, and, and he'll never do a drunken video because he doesn't drink. So that's extra special about Kevin. Um, so God bless Kevin. And I, I think it's Adrian. And if it's not, whoever's with him. And uh, what do we got, God? Oh, I'm sorry, that's the lines. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? It's, it, I think it's really appropriate. I think God's got a sense of humor because you got to hear this one. This is the Lyme's disease. Okay, Rally. And you know what really fucking pisses, ticks me off? What really ticks me off? Right? Is Islam and M103 and this freaking government. So I think God really had a, a good sense of humor on this day. Thank you. God bless. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
about the 1989 Montreal Massacre. That was North America's first mass victim Muslim terror. People are being kept asleep by the media, of course, and the politicians. Yamel Garvey was his Muslim name. Lapine was his French name. He was the son of an Algerian immigrant from Muslim land. Algeria is Muslim. All of France's former colonies in North Africa are Muslim. Quebec is bringing them all in here. They've been coming here for decades. Gamal Garvey murdered 14 female students at Ecole Polytech, 1989, because Islam says no women engineers.